no fight for the ages between Francis Ngannou and Junior Dos Santos. All right, so here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion, whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As he makes his way towards this cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. So here he is making his way to the octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in? as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan. He's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, five losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador Bahia Brasil, presenting the challenger, Junior Segal. the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. Kick lands for there. Really missed with that right hand. Dos Santos gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. These guys are going at it here right away. Whoa! Trading blows. What a shot! What a shot by Junior! He lands a big shot from the bottom. 
These are some bombs he is throwing. Hammer fist gets through. Dos Santos going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Well, turning defense to offense here. Blocks the strike and then. Whoa! He's definitely rocked. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? The champ is in deep danger right now. He is desperately trying to hang on. Big shot. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. How about that chin? Good shots by the champion. Oh, working well off of that jab. Oh! Good defense there. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Good job of timing this combination of strikes here. He oh, like he's he did rock. Style he's hit. for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, knockouts don't get much more prettier or much more flush than that. Full force and full extension on the kick, and there was no chance after that, Joe. The fight was really over as soon as that kick made contact. An outstanding highlight for that young fighter here tonight. And here's the end. Let's see it again. Tremendous force, and that's a wrap. Watch this again here. Oh, man. K.O. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Chicago So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division. And it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class.